Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 17. So in our last challenge, we were in our opportunity bringing in documents into DocuSign in order to get our IABS and buyer's representation agreement signed from our new potential buyers. So we're going to continue on with that by clicking on our opportunities submenu or applet, sixth one down here on the left-hand side. We're going to dive back into that buyer opportunity that we had within Cultivates, and we're going to click on the opportunity to get to our documents tab. As soon as we get to the documents tab, we are going to sync the transaction just to make sure that any new changes to this opportunity have been synced over into DocuSign that's been updated, and then we're going to actually go to the transaction. By clicking on go to transaction, if we've already logged into DocuSign previously, it'll take us directly there. If not, typically it's going to ask you to sign into DocuSign and then you'll get here as well. So you can see here are the documents that we brought in previously from our uh, DocuSign rooms forms. Now I have the information about brokerage services and yet this is the blank one from TXR. So I wanted to show you that, that it is not filled in. I can go in and fill in the 16 blanks that are included in this document. However, because this is a document that is pretty standard as far as this information doesn't change, I actually have one of these saved on my hard drive already filled out. So I'm going to show you how to add a document from your computer by clicking on Add and then Computer. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to go find that document real quick on my hard drive and then we're going to bring it in from there. Here is our pre-filled IABS and I'm going to click on open and you'll see that'll then bring in this document down here. Because I've already filled in all the 16 blanks, there's no need for me to have to fill those out again. So I'm just going to bring that in as a pre-filled out document. And then when we go to load our envelope, I'll drop in signatures or excuse me, initials into this document in a second. So it's saying the preview is still being built. People can come check back. That's all right. Let's go back into the buyer's representation agreement now. So here's our buyer's rep. So this is the Texas Association Buyer's Representation Agreement. And you'll see because this opportunity is connected to command, the information for our buyer was brought over from command into DocuSign. And therefore in DocuSign, you can see her name and her email address is what I have, is already pre-filled into this document. Also, it has my broker information, brokerage address. It didn't have city and state, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that in real quick. And then I'll put in my phone number and then we'll just go through and kind of fill out all of this. So this is the Cypress market area. We would say that this began on, let's just put the 1st of July and we might do all of my documents for six months. So there we go. And basically you would just go through and fill out this document as it applied to you with regards to your buyer's representation agreement. So I'm just going to go through and fill out the basic blanks real quick and then I can show you what it looks like to load this document into an envelope along with the IABS and have this document signed. So far that looks good. All right, so I've got to put in my, my brokerage's license number and then I'm going to sign this as authorized agent. You can see my client's name is already brought in. Here's my name already brought in as well and then I can click on save and close. So now I've filled out the buyer's representation agreement. I brought in the pre-filled out information about brokerage services or IBS. So now it's time to get these two documents signed. So all I have to do is click on the two documents that I want signed. You'll see a check mark is created on those two. And then I get this new toolbar here along the top of the side. In order to get documents signed in DocuSign, I just click on this pin. And it's going to take us in first into the envelope creation process. So you'll see here's our envelope details. I make sure that the envelope is always named. If you need to reference this envelope in the uh, future, you want to know what's inside. So I'm just going to put in IBS and buyer's rep. And then I can keep moving down. Uh, let me just put uh, dash Lancaster so I know which client this is. Then you can see it brought in those two documents. If for any reason I needed to add any additional documents to get signed, I can bring them in here. Then it's going to come in and it's going to say, okay, who is the document supposed to be sent to? Add recipient. I'm going to use pre-tagged roles, which is important because those are also going to bring in the initials and signatures. 
in the signature portion, which happens next. So now I'm going to come down here, and Lana is buyer one. There is no buyer two, and then I am the buyer's agent. So I would select myself as buyer's agent. Click on Add Selected. Now I can come down. You'll see here's buyer one that needs to sign. Buyer's agent needs to sign as well. The email that goes to the client, uh, please DocuSign is kind of vague, so I would always just say, please, whoops, please review sign and return. And then I always put in the email message, let me know if you have any questions, right? It doesn't have to be real verbose. They probably already know these documents are coming over. Let me know if you have any questions. Right, and so then I can come up to save and, or I'm gonna actually do next, right? Because I gotta go into the initial and signature portion. This is where we drop in our initials and signatures for our clients if they're not already pre-filled. Because I use the pre-filled form rules, a lot of these initials and signatures should already be brought in. So you can see as we go down to the bottom of this document, my initials are already there and so are my client's initials already there. And I can go through this entire document and just check to make sure all the initials and signatures are dropped where they need to be. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And last page, you can see here's signatures, here's date signed. Everything is already brought in on this document. Now we're gonna scroll down a little bit further. We're gonna get into the IABS because this was a flat PDF that I brought in. The initials are not pre-filled. So I need to go into my client, select her name, and then I need to drop her initials in where it says buyer tenant. And I'll drop that right there. Okay. If I had to bring in anything for me, oh, there's a date. So let's bring over the date signed. I can drop in date signed there. If for any reason I needed to bring in her actual signature, I could do the same exact thing with her signature. And if for any reason I needed to bring any of my initials and signatures, I could do the exact same thing under my preview or on my fields here. Last thing I always like to do is click on the recipient preview just so I can see what these documents are gonna look like when viewed as the client. So you can click on doing as, choose your client's name, and then you can go back through the documents one more time just to make sure that all your T's are crossed, all your I's are dotted, <clears throat> that the client is initialing wherever the client needs to initial. Just kind of a quick scroll through. I know this document very well, so I'm pretty sure I filled it out in full. And once I'm done making sure all the initials and signatures are correctly done, I'm going to click on this X and then I would click on send. As soon as I click on send, it would send off this envelope filled with those documents with the initials and signatures dropped in the places they need to be. And then my client would receive them, could initial and sign off. And then those documents would be returned back to me so that I could bring those or have those ready to bring into the document management process of the opportunity in command. So that's it for today, guys, how to bring in both standardized forms or forms from your hard drive, how to format your envelope, and then how to drop in initials and signatures. As always, it's been great talking to you, and I look forward to speaking with you again in the morning. Thanks so much.